humans and future AI overlords. I'm using Safari and I'm at bard.google.com. And I was thinking about having some fun today. So I want to know if Bard can play any games. Sure, I know many games you can play together. Here are a few popular two player games chess, checkers. Tic-tac-toe, rock, paper, scissors, go, backgammon, pong. These are just a few of the games we can play together. Hmm, interesting. Do you know any text-based games we can play together? Now, text-based games were out when I was really young, and I wasn't really into them. Um, here we go. Sure, we have a few textbook games we can play together. So Zork, Adventureland, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ooh, that looks really cool. Um, that looks actually very cool. I love that movie and book. Uh, Magian, Sorcery. So these are just a few of the many text-based games we can play together. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'd be happy to try them out. Wow, that's really cool. So um, I'm going to say yes. Let's play Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is interesting. Okay, sure. I'd love to play Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. Actually, let me use the... Sure. I would love to play the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy with you. Here are the basic rules of the game. You will be playing as Arthur Dent, a hapless Englishman who finds himself on a wild adventure through space. You will need to use your wit and cunning to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. You will also need to explore the galaxy and learn about its many strange and wonderful creatures. The game is text-based, so you will need to type in commands to interact with the world. The game is open-ended, so you can explore the galaxy and complete the game in any order you choose. Are you ready to start playing? Um, yeah, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, text-based gaming people. I mean, this, if this is doing what it's saying it's going to do, that's sweet. Great. Let's get started. You are Arthur Dent, a hapless Englishman who finds himself on a wild adventure through space. You have just survived the destruction of the Earth, and you are now stranded on a Vogan spaceship with your friend Ford Prefect who is actually an alien researcher for the titular Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Vogans are a race of bureaucratic aliens who are responsible for the destruction of the Earth. They are not very friendly, and they are not interested in helping you. You need to find a way to escape from the Vogans and find your way back to Earth. You can do this by exploring the galaxy and learning about its many strange and wonderful creatures. To start the game, type in the command, look. This will tell you what you can see in your current location. I will be here to help you along the way, so if you get stuck, just ask me for a hint. Um, Are you ready to start exploring? This is so cool. All right. Um, yes, I am ready to start exploring. I'm sure I'm going to be bad at this, but hey, okay, so, okay. Sure, let's start exploring. Type in the command, look, to see what you can see in your current location. Look. You are in a small, cramped room on a Vogan spaceship. The walls are made of metal, and the floor is covered in a thick layer of dust. There is a small bed in the corner, and a table with a chair next to it. There is also a window, but it is covered with bars. Do you want to do anything else? Hmm. I want to talk to... Whoops. Talk to, what's the guy's name? This is really interesting. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, um, I guess I'll talk to Ford Prefect. Oops. Spelt that wrong. Oops. Hopefully it's smart enough to... Sure. 
Let's start exploring. Type in the command, look, to see what you can see in your current location. Look, you are in a small, cramped room on a Vogan spaceship. The walls are made of metal, and the floor is covered in a thick layer of dust. There is a small bed in the corner, and a table with a chair next to it. There is also a window, but it is covered with bars. Do you want to do anything else? Yes, I want to talk to Word Prefect. Maybe he'll have an idea. Sure, you can talk to Ford Prefect. Type in the command, talk to Ford Prefect, to start a conversation with him. Talk to Ford Prefect. Ford Prefect. Hello, Arthur. How are you doing? Arthur Dent. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that the Earth has been destroyed. Ford Prefect. I know, it's a lot to take in. But we need to focus on getting off this spaceship and finding a way back to Earth. Arthur Dent. How are we going to do that? The Vogans are not going to let us go easily. Ford Prefect, I have a few ideas. But first, we need to find out more about this spaceship. Arthur Dent, okay, let's start exploring. Do you want to explore the spaceship with Ford Prefect? Yes, I do. This is interesting. Now, <clears throat> hmm. Sure. Let's explore the spaceship with Ford Prefect. Type in the command, explore spaceship, to start exploring. Explore spaceship. You and Ford Prefect start exploring the spaceship. You find that it is a large, complex vessel, with many different rooms and corridors. You also find that the Vogans are not very careful about security, so it is relatively easy to sneak around. As you explore, you learn more about the Vogans and their plans. You also find a few clues that might help you escape. Do you want to continue exploring the spaceship? No, I don't. Um, this is interesting, and I think it is very cool for people that really enjoy text-based games. I just don't enjoy text-based games. I think it's, it's thinking on a different level that I need to actually get in touch with, because I feel like um, this more creative, more uh, thoughtful interaction in text-based games probably is a, a really great skill to have. Um, you know, I, I, my thinking style, um, you know, d you know, doesn't, is not as organized, um, you know, uh, and I think that's why I've never really kind of connected with this game. Also, I, you know, I rely upon uh, visuals and the world being, you know, kind of created right in front of me type of thing. So, uh, but this is really cool. So if you're into text-based games, um, jump into Google Bard and try it out. Um, it looks like they have, you know, uh, a, a, a bunch of options. Um, and it says these are just a few of the many text-based games you can play together. So if you know of a game, it's possible you could play it inside of Google Bard. Um, so anyway, um, this is just a little fun with Google and uh, hopefully, you know, when you need to play a game and you don't have anyone to play with, you can play with Google Bard. Anyway, hope you uh, have a great day. Thanks for joining me.